Hey, welcome to the Madhouse Magazine Radio Hour, the 2018 season. That's right, you heard right. We are no longer live from Dennis's house. Due to contractual and legal problems, we are now the Madhouse Magazine Radio Hour. That was a live from Dennis's house show in Bogota, and they sued us, so we... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It just it sounds. I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. But Where's for 2018, uh, it's in yeah, it's oh. in South America somewhere. It's so you could have said anyway. <laughs> so anyway, we are now. We're going to be doing. This is our first show back with Gina and Bello for Yay. 2018. Yay. So awesome and we're going to be spotlighting 1976 Woo. today. That's right, the bicentennial, the most uh, biggest party of our country's history. Hey. Let's talk a little bit about 1976 now and the bicentennial. It was uh, such a great yeah, party. I remember it well. Yes, me too. It's like I don't really though. It's like I know it was a bicentennial, yeah. but like I remember fireworks. Right. Yeah. And I, that's about it. And ships, big and ships. Yeah, well, the big yes. ships. I remember that. But I don't really remember that much stuff going on. I know everybody was in a good mood, though. Everybody was very patriotic and happy. Do you remember right. that, Bello? Because you're a New Yorker. Was, well, was we're all New Yorkers yeah, originally. Yeah. But they closed down the Bell Parkway. And Just under the Verrazano, the they had all the ships. Oh, yes. Oh. yes. And we were only allowed to like ride our bikes or walk oh, okay. along that whole you know, shore over there, that whole... Promenade. And promenade, right. And um, that was that was a big thing. Fireworks, yeah. Bay Ridge, that whole strip of the yeah, Bell Parkway. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely the most fireworks ever. Uh -huh. you know, <laughs> I have to give a I shout remember, out. But yeah, the naval yeah. ships were awesome. <laughs> Who My cousin John at? was mm -hmm. born July 6, 1976. Oh, wow. During all this yes. party. During all this yes. party. In Brooklyn. In yeah, Brooklyn. right? Yeah. Awesome. Surprised he was able to get to the hospital with all the yes. uh, well, firework well, uh, sure. activities yeah. going on, you know? Right. Did you ever blow anything off, yeah, uh, Bello? That was, was wow. That's all we did in Staten Island. It no, was but not, I mean you your know? fingers. Like no, 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 no. I, I don't think right. so. I remember. Yeah, it's uh, true. It was like a war zone, Brooklyn. Yeah, that was yeah. that was fun. That was and then fun. and then of course there's always a Vietnam vet in the neighborhood who went berserk and chased <laughs> yes, you with a meat yes, cleaver. Yes, and, yes. And was, well, uh, I mean that was the year of Son of Sam. Yeah, yeah he just started. Out, right? He killed his first victim. So talking about meat cleavers and killing. Absolutely. And I'll never forget. I mean. Any girl, and they the, the, the M.O. was he was looking for girls with brown hair yeah. and young girls, and I was 13 Damn. in 76, and I was not allowed out of the house. Yeah, yeah. the whole year. Oh, yeah. yeah. You right. can go look at one yeah. tall ship right. and then yeah. get back here. Right. That was it. Yeah, no, that was pretty yeah, that crazy. Was, yeah, that was a yeah, crazy year, 76. Going to my cousin's yeah. house and being, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, had yeah. long hair. What if he missed it? I <laughs> you don't know. Long, you see, Steve? I, I remember being so scared. <laughs> I had long hair. Yeah. Torturing uh, his teachers. Weirdo. Yeah. Weirdo. Oh, speaking of torturing teachers, I do recall that story from 1976. I have a bunch of torturing my teacher stories. <laughs> oh, do you? That, uh, of course, every year. You name a year, I'll yes, give you a torturing yes, the teacher right, story. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. I was just turning. I was 11, turning 12 this mm. year. I was in sixth grade. I was in Mrs. Denberg's class. Ah. Hedda Denberg. Like I said, I went to an all black school and I had right. all angry hundred year old Jewish women as teachers <laughs> who absolutely hated children and especially hated me. Right? So Aww. Aww. <laughs> yes. so this woman, um, so like I said, it was all black school, right? So everybody used to call me Dennis. So <laughs> Dennis. Yo, Dennis, you play too much. Dennis. Yeah. Let me borrow a pin, Dennis, right? <laughs> so I started writing it on my homework. I would write D I N <laughs> And one time Mrs. Denberg noticed it and she like <laughs> held it up like it was a piece of turd and she like, Dennis, here's your homework. And she like tossed it out. Oh, she was right? disgusted. <laughs> so so here here's the main story, right? That um so me and my best friend Paul was in that class and we were doing comics that year. We were we started this uh, comic book book series and it was all about the other kids in the class right so we would draw funny pictures of them write oh, stories no, about them great. and stuff right so <laughs> there was just one kid <laughs> that we picked and we had all different nicknames and it was great stuff and um, there was this one kid who drew a series of of him having sex with different animals oh, right? oh, so, <laughs> oh my god so anyway, that that, <laughs> what do boys do at that age? Is that really what 
what they do. <laughs> yes, that's what we do. <laughs> so anyway, awesome. someone ratted us out, or somehow Denberg got a hold of this, right? <laughs> so she had the whole manifesto there, and she called us in, called our parents up, oh, right? Come on. Separately, so. Oh. <laughs> the one thing that I remember about it is that uh, you know the principal and her was showing the pictures to my parents, <laughs> right? Like and this. then. They got to the picture of this kid having sex with a snake, and oh. my father burst out laughing. <laughs> he couldn't control himself. Oh, no. <laughs> but it was oh, like one of those great. laughs where you stop yourself yes, immediately. Yes. You know you can't right. be laughing. Oh, no, that's <laughs> awesome. He's like, that's, that's my great. boy. Oh. That's my boy. Oh. Yeah, so. He was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He had awesome. a good sense of humor. So there that you go. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. And your mother. Yeah, right. Yeah. She's like, Bob. Bob. <laughs> We're going to lose the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, and another great adventure there that um, I recall from 1976. This kid who we called Peachhead in our comic books because he had a big giant head. He sat in front of me and he went to sit down and I pulled the chair out and he oh, fell off the ground. God. He made a big scene and everything. And he jumped up and he wanted to fight me and he like punched me. So we got into a fist fight right into the class oh, there with no. Miss Denberg screaming and yelling. Dennis, and I got suspended Dennis. for that. Oh, yes, yeah, Dennis. Wow. <laughs> Dennis gets Stop suspended. That Dennis. Dennis, yeah, yeah, so it was a very volatile year, 1976. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I we don't know. were very lucky with that, kids. I have to say it's all me. Uh, seems that way. Yeah. Belle, you must have a good story from 76 uh, yeah, that you can I mean, remember. I was crazy stuff going on in my year, too. I was just thinking about it. I got suspended many times. In, in <laughs> 1976, that was, I, I was in the sixth problems. grade annex, and it would happen quite often. <laughs> and uh, I remember we got suspended for smoking across the street. Didn't even make sense. We weren't even in a, <laughs> on the school, you know. Yeah. A lot of stupid rules. Like I guess they could do whatever they want, you know. Oh yeah, back then you could do whatever you want. Absolutely. And, then, and my mother had to come up to school, and she's like, "Well, you smoke, seem to be honest." And I'm like, "No, ma, I wasn't." <laughs> and I know what your dad <laughs> said. Yeah. The kid, he's yes, alive. Yeah, he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> you know. But actually, I get suspended for a week, and my mother, to protect me, would make me wake up early and then go to sleep in the back room until my father went oh, to work. Oh, so he so, wouldn't yeah. know. Oh, yes. that's awesome. Wow. So that was one she was on my side. That, yeah. Yeah, that, that was very kind. Mom. So I have to yes. say, being suspended is the greatest thing ever in the history yeah. of the yeah. world. Yeah, it was. Yes, I know <laughs> what you're talking about. I would You get a know. free week off yes. from school. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> and your parents yell at you a bit, but you block that out, and then uh, by the second day, they're done. And yeah. you're just Put playing. on the TV. Yes, and you got caught Exactly. Yeah, you're you got, watching you know, cartoons, you sleep game late. Shows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I dream of genie. <laughs> yeah. Playing my G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. It was the greatest. <laughs> there you yeah. go. I yeah. recommend being suspended. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if they do that anymore. No, they no, do. I think they expel you They definitely you now do. Yeah, they destroy you. Yeah, they don't mess around. No. Like, yeah. Imagine, oh my God, if that happened now, if I drew those comics yes, like no that way. about oh, you'd be in therapy. I'd be in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parents would be. You would yes, I'd be yeah. taken away. Yes, I'd be a ward yes, of the yes, court. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they'd give you back. No, yeah, oh, yeah. No. It's your spawn. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine that <laughs> harassment. Oh I, would I have to move to Bogota, I think. Uh, uh, again, with Colombia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the connection. Oh, there are no rules there. <laughs> so, do you guys uh, have anything else you want to talk about 76 before we move into more music and Boston? 76 was a good year. Yes. That was, oh, my God. So, 13. I went to mm. Catholic school. Ooh. Nuns were vicious. Yeah. Did they have a uh, physically attack oh, you? Oh, heck yeah. Sister really? Ellen Cecile, uh, class 8A, St. Simon and Jude. Um, any girl that wore earrings or makeup, we were called whores. We oh. were called, like, Boutonous. I mean, she was crazy. But, yeah, but she wasn't Italian. Oh. But she had hand trouble. She would hit us. Yeah. She wow. was tough. You got an answer wrong. She made you kneel on your hands. You were chewing gum. She stuck your gum in your hair. Oh my How do you God. kneel on your hands? You had to kneel on the floor. And put your hands and on. Put your hands under your knees. Oh That's why Gina's God. arms is so long. That's why. Right. There you go. <laughs> wow, that, they were uh, but uh, we had a lot of fun. We always had um, the church <laughs> bazaars. They were called bazaars uh, yes. back yeah, then, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. right. It's and, illegal uh, gambling. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 and they served liquor in there. Yeah, everything. Right. Over and under. We used to sneak in there. Awesome. But that that was the year when you you know you like boys you like girls and 
So Sal, I'm I'm outing you, Sal <laughs> Curto, DJ um, Sally Boy, my first kiss. All right. Yeah. Actually, oh, was at the God. Little League, but we were at the bazaar that night, oh, going on the Ferris wheel and whatnot. You're supposed to bring him here. Hey, I got to bring him one of these days. He's in but Florida. Now, I got to get him back here. Now that she's outing him, uh, maybe um, he'll come on. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, out, my really no, no not like that. No. So oh, the funny story oh, goes, no. Sorry, I Sal. really only wanted to kiss him because I wanted his baseball cards. <laughs> yeah, you did tell I that told you that story. story. <laughs> so yeah, so that know. was 1976. Uh, yeah, quite that's a good, few yeah. times. Yes, yes, yes. That's so, my buddy. Speaking of baseball cards. Today, just today, Oscar Gamble I know, passed away. Dad. No, who had the my greatest favorite greatest throw really? in <laughs> sports history. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you have to see this picture, Cha Cha. Yes. I'm sure I showed it to you a hundred times. When they has his cap put yeah. down, he's got the hair out. Oh my yeah, god! Wow. Totally Cha Cha applauded for uh, yeah. <laughs> his yeah. afro. I didn't know he yeah. passed away. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just heard it. Yeah. I, I wrote one of the one, yeah. one of the cards. It's his helmet. His hair sticking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wrote on the bottom. Brr, good thing I brought my earmuffs. <laughs> I'll never forget. You know, he was freezing. That's what it looked like. Who did he play for? Was, was he? He was the Yankees for a while. Yeah, right? He played with I, seven I mean, different I'm a Met teams. Fan, but yeah. teams. I think it was '76, yeah. and the card said, uh, "New York Yankees take yes. gamble, take uh, gamble, take gamble on Oscar." On Oscar. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. what the baseball card. That was said. the one. And you know and that it. what happened with that? They airbrushed the Yankees hat onto him. <laughs> yes, it was uh, terrible, oh, and it was so big. It was so big. It looked like a cartoon. I know exactly what you're talking about. Sick. Now we're going to start talking about Boston. This album came out in 1976. This was Gina's choice, of course. Gina picked this album. It was a great, great album. This is one of the best-selling debut albums of all time. Did you know that? Yep. That it sold 17 million copies in the U.S., 25 million worldwide. Do you know how many times platinum that is? If you sell 17 million, that means it's 17 times platinum. That's awesome. So um, wow. it's just it, it it was just such a good album. Every single song on it is awesome. Let me name some of these songs. Yeah, we got more than a feeling, Love it. which went up to only number five on the list. And I'm going to tell you the four songs that were uh, in front of it. Oh. 1976. You ready? Mm-hmm. Disco Duck. Now I say that about every, every single song, ends. but this time it's actually true. Oh, 1976. Why did no, because it was like 1985, oh. and I'm saying, oh, yeah, Disco Duck. <laughs> I just use that as an example of the stupidity of the American public sometimes. But this year it actually happened. Disco Duck was number one. Uh-huh. But listen to these other songs ahead of More Than a Feeling. Okay. Afternoon Delight by the Starland Vocal Band. That's a good song. I could call out my other cousin for yeah. telling me what it meant. <laughs> ah, yeah, let's do go. that. Get him on the phone. Uh, so, And then the... Other song above More Than a Feeling, Convoy by C.W. Oh. McCall. Holy cow, this was the uh, oh. CB craze. Yeah, the remember? CB craze. That oh was the year. That's <laughs> ridiculous. My What's father your had handle? one in his car. What's your yeah. handle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Thank God I wasn't old enough to wow. partake in that. So, um, And then, of course, <laughs> Cha-Cha's favorite song of all time what? was Above More Than a Feeling. It was called Let Her In by John Travolta. Oh. <laughs> you know it. You know it. You know it. <laughs> yeah, that's quite good. <laughs> so, so let's get back to this song, this album now that it was the number two selling debut album of all time behind what album? Um, Appetite for Destruction by... Wow. Guns N' Roses. Wow. That's the wow. only debut album that sold more than this. So wow. when this came out, it was number one until they came out. That was out. huge. Yes, yes. So, um, that fact. Wow, yeah. so Boston actually formed in Minnesota in uh, the early 70s. Really? Minnesota? <laughs> Don't you think that's weird? That doesn't that a group make sense. Name Boston would be formed in Minnesota. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Why the name Why Boston? Boston? Do we know this? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, they were formed oh in Boston. My God, <laughs> See, you know, us. I always throw a joke in there, and uh, no, you have to pick Disco it out. Disco Duck was always. Not, the joke. Oh, but now that <laughs> Disco Duck was real, I had to throw another one in there. Terrible. I'm ever supposed to believe you. Yeah. Yes. So. Yes. And they formed in Boston, and it was really just Tom Schultz's band. Tom Schultz is a genius that he went to MIT, which is a very wow. fancy school, and he became an electrical engineer, as uh, <laughs> Lionel likes to say on All in the Family. Because yeah. he would say that to Archie. Yep. He was yep. an electrical engineer. Yep. to make Archie laugh, he goes, yeah, I'm going to be an electrical engineer. <laughs> <So> anyway. <laughs> <that's awesome. laughs> 
Um, so anyway, he got a job at Polaroid after he got out as a fancy engineer or something. And then um, he built his own studio in his basement of this crappy little apartment that he had in Boston. And he wrote all these songs and he recorded all these songs. He played all the instruments and he made this demo. And uh, it was just like a, a Brad Delp did the singing, and someone helped him on the drums. Everything else he played. Wow. Mm -hmm. And um, he invented, like, all this equipment to use to make these great sounds. So anyway, uh, the record companies found this, and then they uh, signed him. Uh, what ABC, CBS, whatever, Epic signed them, <laughs> right? But they said, you have to make... One of those. You have to make a, another, you know, you have to make this record. We can't use your stupid little basement <laughs> right, studio. Right, right, right. you got to go to L.A., and you got to have this engineer do it and all of this kind of stuff produces right, right and he right. said no absolutely not oh. but he didn't say that he said that to himself uh -huh. so he <laughs> pretended that he was going to go to that studio and record it but they just went and they recorded one song which was let me take you home tonight wow. there oh, and then all the other way. stuff he was doing back home in his basement by himself oh. wow. he cleverly got the whole album recorded and they thought he was only you know doing that one song and he finished all the rest of them at home wow. so wow. yeah and when it came That's out awesome, it was a Mike. huge huge I never hit knew any oh yeah you got to hear uh, you know how everyone is uh, the band members here on the album, you know what Tom Schultz did? He played electric guitars, lead guitar, acoustic guitars, clavinet, organ, mm -hmm. bass guitar, design consultant, remastering, liner notes, production, engineering, and flugelhorn. Flugelhorn. <laughs> he was a one-man band. Yes, That's exactly. What did, what did the other guys well, did he throw the They didn't really do anything. Uh, they didn't do anything. They took so, a picture. Right. But yeah. let's, yeah. let's look. This is a cool album here. Let's look on the back. I don't know if you can see this. If you have yeah, your album at home, shot. go and see it. And you missed this fellow. Like... Look at that afro he's yeah, got that's there. Not so um, yeah. Brad yeah. Delp was the singer. That's where he kept his And flugelhorn. this is very interesting. Sib Hashian plays the drums. <laughs> you know? Wait, did you hear what Bill said? What? That's where he kept his flugelhorn. Just I missed it. All right, so awesome. this guy with the big giant fro on the back, if you have your album, that is Sib Hashian, right? And he mm -hmm. just passed away recently. Aww. Oh, he died as uh, I think Boston was doing a concert on a cruise ship, and he died during the concert. Oh, oh my man. god! But the even more interesting part about it is that his daughter is dating or married to The Rock. Oh, oh wow. yes, wow. very interesting. Wow. Oh, there you go. Interesting that, facts. She could be first lady. One <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? The rock. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Rock. <laughs> no, isn't his name Dwayne? Or yes. Yeah, no, Dwayne. his yeah. actual name is The Rock. That's oh, it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so oh. Fran Sheehan oh. on bass, Gary Boudreau on uh, Goudreau on rhythm guitar, and that's it. So everybody else does something. <laughs> and um, nah. the album peaked at number three. And you know why? You know what other albums came out and wouldn't let them move? Disco Duck? No. <laughs> it was Frampton Comes Alive oh. was taking oh. Oh, how do you suppress and that one? Songs in the Key of Life by Stevie Wonder. That so was they were another both one. Taking number one yeah. and number two. That's so rightfully so. That's reasonable, right? Yeah. Wow. He's probably like, damn, I wish I uh, put this album out uh, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So, story. I didn't know any yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. So See, cool. it's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So then um, this album came out. It was a huge success, like I said. But then uh, it turned into lawsuits and problems. And the next album didn't come out for like two years later, which was this album here called what's it called hmm. don't look back and oh. it had one good song on it don't look back yeah, maybe a couple other know. songs yeah but it was nowhere near There's as good no as this one like right that. and then they got such embroiled in uh legal battles that it took eight or nine years for the next album to come out wow. and there was fighting and it lawsuits and money. yeah so it was long over. Yeah. so it was basically for me is this one album that was you know it was a flash epic. in the pan Total you know epic. and it's totally amazing mm. every song on it is amazing right. so i only got to one song i said um more than a feeling right. well listen to these other ones you ready mm -hmm. long time went to number 22 mm. peace of mind which me and gina just performed number 38 rock and roll band smoking hitching a ride something about you and let me take you home tonight That's all awesome. fm radio classics yeah. in 1976 you could walk down the street and every block one of these songs was yeah. playing yeah and the tall ships was blasting it <laughs> as they came down the <laughs> they Hudson. Came down. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's really really uh, yes. Yeah. And that uh, they made their debut in New York City, right? The first time they ever played in New York City, you know where they played? Madison Square Garden wow, for three days. That's sold out. Impressive. And very exciting fact that did you know Nirvana is rumored to have gotten the riff for oh, Smells yes, Like Teen Spirit yes. from More Than a Feeling. Right, right. If I you think about it, that, yeah. they're hmm. similar.
guy was, a, like I said, engineering genius. He invented all this stuff. He started his own uh, music company where he would make amplifiers and See, effects pedals yeah. wow. and uh to this day a lot of people use his effects and uh like Def Leppard used it Barno mm -hmm. all these mm -hmm. bands that came after use all, all seeing his effects. him live uh last year or two summers ago first time that you know they regrouped and all these 70s bands are coming together right 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 they, they reproduced that album to the T. Yeah, yeah, and I to watch him great. on stage with these monstrous um I guess boards or whatever that yeah, he had near yeah. the key keyboard. If you ever seen like pictures of him, where he was actually plugging things in, <laughs> like analog <laughs> stuff. Wow. Serious. He was, he was right. taking a I call. Was thinking, uh, I was thinking yeah, of Lily yeah. Tomlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Sarah, like, you know, please uh, get me dingy. Doc dingy. Sullivan. <laughs> Wondering <laughs> dingy, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's the kind of stuff that yeah, this yeah. guy wow. built. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. with these wires coming out and just like, and the, the sound was impeccable. Yeah, he was a musical Two genius. Years ago. Wow. And now, yeah, the band cool has stuff. him. He's the only original member in yeah, the band the only still one. out there. Mm -hmm. And that the singer, he actually committed suicide. Yeah, he did. And there's uh, rumors that it was because of Tom Schultz. Oh. Because of oh, the wow. lawsuits. That's what I was reading today. Yeah. Oh, wow. That there was lawsuits and that. fighting and he uh, hated them. And, uh, oh, that's awful. That's he, uh, you he, he drew sorry. Tom Schultz actually drew a cartoon of him having sex with a snake. With a snake. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dennis, what you started? Oh, dare you. Dennis. They got a whole new cartoon. You play too much. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, how can you be laughing about a man committing suicide? Yeah, this yeah, very, very immature. You make it easy. Uh, <laughs> you make it easy. <laughs> so anyway, that that was uh, great, uh, great stuff. Uh, very, they uh, they will live on forever. This album will live on yes, forever. It's a One of these. Yes, 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 yes. Must awesome. listen to albums yes, before you die. Absolutely. Yes. Everybody knows every word, every right. chord. Mm -hmm. You'll be humming really along true. and singing yeah. along. I forgot how many great songs. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's awesome. good stuff. So now let's continue on with. 1976 and the events and what happened that year. And let's talk about the movies that came out that oh. year. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. You ready yeah. for this cha cha? I'm ready. Carrie. Oh, Remember that one? Oh, John Travolta. Yes, John Travolta. Oh, this is crazy. Definitely afraid of that. Oh, my God. Yes. It's horrible. The Omen. Speak oh, about horrible. scary ones. Yeah. That was I've terrifying. Never seen the Omen. You got to see that. No, I don't. That was good. That, uh, that was horrible. Like, yeah, yeah. I remember going mm -hmm. to the movies and we had to take the bus home, my cousin <laughs> and I. <laughs> You should have hitchhiked. And, yeah, well, I remember, yeah. Remember that story? Yes, Did he yes. say, you listen when I talk. Of course I, I did. Like yes. So, yeah, I, we had a hitchhike, and I was scared. <laughs> we had just seen the omen, and I, was, I ran it around oh so bad that I got home. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. And, and I, oh, my God, How terrible. How old were you, were 13? I was 13, okay, yeah, 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 so yeah. she was 15. Okay. And she didn't want to take the bus, and we hitchhiked. You hitchhiked, hitchhiked. Oh, picture. my Jeez. God. Did you get a ride? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Scared. And you know who picked her up? Taxi Driver. <laughs> Speaking of that, that was the next that movie on my list. Yeah. Robert De Niro. You talking oh, wow. to me? You talking to me? That was 76. Yes, that was 76. Wow. That was one of my wow. favorite movies. Wait, Taxi awesome. Driver. Brooke Shields, right? Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster. Wow. Jodie Foster. Yeah, Jody Foster. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. And uh, yeah, it was a great movie. Bad News Bears, starring Steven oh, yeah, as uh, Tana, Tana. Great Tana. movie. <laughs> the original. They used to call me that. Yeah. Tana. Is that he Walt, was such a punk. Walter, yeah, Walter Matthau. Tatum O'Neill. Yeah. Tatum O'Neill. Right, right. She was That's awesome. Great. Yeah. Tatum yeah. was everywhere yeah. in yeah. 76. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Were the stars. And then uh, I got a story about this next movie. That's Entertainment Part 2 came out, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I got to tell you about this. Because I think it was because I got suspended from school. My parents made me go see this oh, movie with no. them. Awesome. It was like, they uh, leave you home alone. It was like yeah. a matinee. And yes. I remember going with my father, my <laughs> mother, and my grandmother. And if oh, you know no. what this Sergi movie Ray. is, this is it movie, all scenes it's all scenes from, yeah. from yeah. movies from, from the movies. 30s and 40s. <laughs> yeah. that, uh, oh, the Esther Williams synchronized swimming and Gene Kelly Dancing. You got an education and, that day. Uh, it was <laughs> supposed to be a comedy? No, no, it's oh, clips wow. from it all clips from the older movies. classic oh. movies. Wow. That That's entertainment. And there was some guy, I think it was Fred Astaire, <laughs> narrating the movie. And like, oh, here, from 1936, oh, no. is Zigfield Follies uh, <laughs> and uh, Shirley Temple. Uh, that was your history oh, lesson wow. for the day because you weren't in school. <laughs> yes. Ten-year-old kid, yeah. Oh, and uh, that was like the same year. That was, a, like I said, it's the same year that they forced me to go see Liberace. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Westbury Music Fair. Yeah, so, they, yeah. yeah, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> wow. So let's keep going here. A Star is Born with uh, oh. Bob, oh, Bob oh, Streisand. Yes, and Chris Christopherson. Wow. Wow. I think that was a dirty was movie, a movie, too. Yeah. yeah. Dirty. Risque. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. he, was, yeah, he, was he was beautiful. Good. He was beautiful. I don't think I saw that movie. She was I don't always think I in movies either. with the best looking guys. She was always. so ugly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you said it. You can't oh, say yeah. that. <laughs> you can't say that about Barbara Streisand. Yeah, I know. She just did. I, but you, She's and, a legend. Yes. She is. And I, I'll give her that. But in comparison. She's just like, got nose. They should have put um, got the, Robert Look at James Brolin. She's married to yeah, him. She's still, no, right? He's still beautiful. Like, they, whatever, 70 yeah. something years old. They should have put Squiggy yeah. from Laverne and Shirley next to her. And she would look better, right? She was Hello. a really great actress, Squiggy. though. And it, yeah, yeah. you know what? It worked. Yep. It worked. It worked. There you she go. wasn't ugly. No, nah, she's just she's, she's kind of. She you know who she reminds she me of? A, she Sarah Jessica a Parker. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Not really attractive. She's like a pretty but, ugly girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. There was something. <laughs> like she Ellen was, Barkin kind of. She was. No. Yeah. She had. She had something. All right. So speaking of that, I want to hear about something from the movies here, from the 1976 movie King Kong. You remember it was a remake? Yes. And oh, yeah, um, yeah. Jessica I, Lange. I, 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 Not I, Jessica Lange. Twin Towers instead of the Empire State Building. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, who? Maybe it was Jessica Lange. Who See, am I thinking about? So is that great. old lady named Jessica? Jessica Lange's Jessica a, Tandy. I think. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Jessica Tandy I think you're right. I think it might have been Jessica <laughs> Lange. All right. I think you're so. right. So anyway, I think she's right. the producer yeah, she Dino. Dino De Laurentiis was the producer, right? And, and Meryl Streep came in to audition for the lead role of that. Okay. And he commented to his son in Italian. He said, she's ugly. Why did you bring me this thing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> And then he was shocked when Streep replied to the insult in fluent Italian. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, what is that? Get yeah. us out of here! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Well, so, that was his loss. Yeah. Uh, she's quite she was, she was a pretty really good, good actress. That yeah, one, yeah. huh? Yeah, she turned out pretty good. Did she <laughs> go into any other movies? Yeah, I, I think, think she did. Yeah. 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 Car Wash. Remember that movie? Yes, yeah. yeah. that was yeah. a great movie. Yeah. Great that song. Yeah, that's a great song. That was the best movie in my school. I gotta say, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. That um. That yeah. and another big one, part on that song. Mother Jugs and Speed. Remember, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Raquel yeah. Welch, yes. oh. Bill Cosby, yes. and wow. someone else. I forget who wow. it was. Yeah. No, 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 I don't know. I think it was Robert Redford. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And of course, the song remains the same. The Led Zeppelin wow. classic movie that everyone saw at the midnight movie yes. for 100 years yes. after that. Yes. So Forever. the Oscars of that year, the 49th Academy Awards. You know who hosted it that year? Richard Pryor hosted the Academy Awards. Wow. And every other word was a curse, and you had to be beeped wow. out. Wow. And you know what the best picture of 1976 was? 76. It was Rocky. Oh, wow. Yes. Awesome. Remember that? Yes. Sylvester Stallone, the original Rocky. Yeah. That yes. Was a great, great, great movie. movie. Great. Yeah. I, now, I'm going to confess something that I never told anyone. Oh, no. <laughs> Please. I like the sign of the cross. I had a shirt that said Italian Stallion. Yes! <laughs> of course you did. Yes, it is the best. Oh. I, I was ashamed to admit it because oh. Chacha would ridicule oh. me because oh. I ridiculed her from 1976 when oh, she had a Fonzie no. for President T-shirt on. Oh. Oh. Imagine if we met in '76 and I had my Italian Stallion oh. shirt and you had your Fonzie for President. Oh. We would never got married. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It was I a black shirt it. with like really white short lettering, like and white script. lettering and script. Oh, in wow. script. And hey, listen, oh, from Brooklyn, stop. everybody had them. Everyone had that. Everybody shirt. had that yeah. shirt. Yeah. Well, they had Brooklyn in script. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God! That's, <laughs> geez, I wish you still had that. I, I know. I wish I had a picture that. of that too. Yeah. So all right. I that's can't that. believe you admitted that. That's so, great. Let's move on to TV. It was a big year in TV. The debuts, the TV shows on that year that just debuted family you remember that show yeah. with christy yeah. mcnichol yes. only in repeat i don't remember we just saw it there was a, di- yeah. a marathon on it. we watched it meredith bernie back yeah yeah wow. she was cool. oh, yeah was yeah wow uh-huh so you show. don't remember that show and, her, and the brother McNichol. was like a heartthrob yeah yeah was his, I, and yeah. we just it was just such a weird oh, family yeah. Who's the buddy? And they, they called her buddy, they called her buddy. Yeah. right yeah. and we realized as we were watching the marathon we said what was wrong with it is that it's just it's like Emotions. a white family with yeah. everyone's talking oh 
So yeah. you got suspended from school today? Yeah. And we're like, nobody's yelling or screaming, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and right. nobody's yeah, going yeah. berserk. Yeah, so, that was yeah, the mother. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, I'm trying so, to that. <laughs> They should have had the Italian family or the Irish family. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> oh, my God, you're breaking the my heart. The kid's a liar. <laughs> 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 we'll lose the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your mother, you're breaking my heart. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> So then, what else they do? I just that love year? how we were all brought up the same way. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> why it's good. Laverne and Shirley awesome. debuted that year. In 76. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good. You know what show debuted? Our favorite show, What's Happening, debuted yes. that year. Oh, wow. I love that show. And I didn't realize that. You know what, Stephen? We just missed. It was last week. I saw an announcement about it. It was the 40th anniversary of the Doobie Brothers yes, appearance. I heard it on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I heard it on so. the radio. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a national uh, holiday exactly. for you, dude. Yes. Yeah. That's the greatest yes, moment yeah. in TV yes. history. What Doobie you Rock mean. band <laughs> on, yeah, on yeah, a yeah, sitcom. Roger wasn't sure who was yeah. who. And what Alice, of course, debuted that year, too. Remember that with Linda Lavin. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kiss my Oh. Grits. Yes. Can we all name yes. that? Polly Holiday played yes. Flo. Wow, that was good. And Vic Tabak played yes. uh, Mel. Mel. Great theme Love songs, that. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All Beretta was Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't go to bed with no price on your head. <laughs> Don't do the crime if you yeah, can't yes, do the time. Yes, yes. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And Alice's theme song was awesome, even though I can't stand yeah, Linda Lavin's yeah, yeah. voice. But that was a little <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do old TV <laughs> show yeah, themes, right? man. For you, you should do it. Uh, yeah, that was. Good. I'm gonna name a show. You're gonna sing the theme. Yeah, theme, they don't right? have that theme songs like that anymore. That That's really big in the piano the bars in Manhattan. They used to do that all the time. Oh, awesome. I, yeah, oh I would yeah. Love that. I TV would, show I would stuff. To see that. That's good stuff. <laughs> So, um, yeah, a lot of great music that year, of course. We're going to name some of this stuff. The Ramones album came out that year. The first oh. year, this was when music, punk just starting, disco yeah. st starting, classic rock still going along. Great and listen year. to some of these great albums that came out. David Bowie, Station in the Station, Bob Dylan, Night on the Town by Rod Stewart, Hotel California. Oh, that's right. Came yeah, out. another big Day right? at the Races by Queen, oh. Black and Blue by the Rolling Stones. Yeah. You had ELO, Wings, Boz Skaggs, Petty Smith, Kansas, Billy Joel. Came great out year. and Tin Lizzy, so much stuff. Tim great, Lizzie. great music. Yeah, and there was a lot of interesting things going on here. Now, this is going to sound like it's a bellow joke, but it's actually a fact mm -hmm. that in doctors in LA went on strike in 1976 and the death rate dropped 18%. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Stop it. I swear Stop to God. It. It's oh, a awesome. fact. It's a fact of 1976. Doctors so, went on strike. Does it make sense? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know there was a doctor's union. But yes. Right, right. Wow. But anyway, that's what I read. Oh, you know what? About 1976 I wanted to bring up? What? A cha-cha still lives as it's 1976. Why I are you saying? What, what is I'm going to tell you why. Because everything that your father said to you in 1976, you repeat to our children there about the cause. You know, it's like, oh, my God, it's getting cold. We better get our snow tires on. <laughs> and I was like, Cha-Cha, it's not 1976. Was we don't need tongue. snow tires anymore. Not, I snow don't tire. <laughs> <laughs> you go. And she's like, oh, you better warm up the car. We don't want uh, any problems. You got to get it tune up. And <laughs> yeah, what I do tell she's them. She's preparing for oh. this time. What I do tell them, and this still holds true, is that <laughs> you should never let your gas tank go past him. <laughs> That's true. That's right. correct. She's right about that. Right. Because if the gas might fall. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I think we're related. It's like every car My still father. is made 1976, you know? My A father's father Etzel, you know? <laughs> My father was brilliant. He was but practical. times have changed. Yes, in no, 1976, no. his advice might have been good. To put your snow I tires was, on. I was, we don't I need was snow 10 tires years anymore. Old in 1976. I know, but you would hear him saying that, yes. and then, but it yes. stuck in your head. Stuck and like, oh, head. this is what we got to do. Right. You know, so <laughs> I just find it hysterical. Oh, that's beautiful. There you go. Yeah. Yes, yeah. very hysterical. <laughs> so, all right, that's it for 1976. That was a great year. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, uh, awesome. Too much stuff. We're gonna make it. Go into the next year. There's so much stuff going on. So, all right. So, we're going to wrap this show up. Anyone got last parting words before we wrap this up? Oh, we did not smell the album, though. This See? looks like a good one. 
this is what happens oh. when little, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's little what, Nick's not here. Did you know that that's what happened to Cameron Ann Quinlan? She was <laughs> sniffing the Boston album that year. Oh. See how that wow. could happen. That's a good one, right? That's, that's that major stuff. Ugh. There you go, Bello. Look, the glue even You'll came off. Smelled wow. it so hard. Ugh. So that's nice. All right, so we're going to wrap this show up, <laughs> and that's it. Thanks for joining us here, Madhouse Magazine Radio Hour. See you next time when we're going to be doing I don't know what. Right, thanks for joining us. Let's hear it for us. All right. I still think it should be the cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs>